Hey, sup people? The ternary operator, also known as the conditional operator, it's a shortcut to using an if-else statement when assigning or returning a value. Here's the formula. We write a condition followed by a question mark. If this condition is true, we return some value if true. Or if that condition is false, we return some other value. Here's an example. First, we'll use an if-else statement, and then later we'll switch to the ternary operator. So let's create a function that will find the maximum of two integers. And I'm going to assign that to int max. And we will invoke a function find max, but we'll still need to declare it. So let's pass in two integers, maybe three and four. And then I'm going to display whatever max is. Okay, so let's declare this function. So we're returning an integer. The name is find max. And let's set up some parameters, int x and int y. So if we're using an if-else statement, if we need to return x if it's larger, we can check to see if x is larger than y. If so, then return x. Else, return y. So this does work. So the max between 3 and 4 is 4. So if I switch 3 to 5, well then the max is 5. So a shortcut to writing an if-else statement like this, if we're returning or assigning a value, is that we could instead use the ternary operator. So let's return, and then we have a condition. So this is our condition. Is x greater than y? Then we add a question mark. Then the value we're returning if true. So if x is greater than y, let's return x, colon, then our value if this condition is false. And here within our else statement, we're returning y. And we no longer need this if else statement. And that's all there is to it. So we cut down on all that code and now just have one line of code. So it's kind of like a shortcut. And this works much the same. So the maximum between five and four is five. And if I change five back to three, well then the max is four. So yeah, that's the ternary operator. It's a shortcut to using an if-else statement when assigning or returning a value. You write some condition, add a question mark like you're asking a question, then list some value to return if this condition is true, and then some other value if this condition is false. So you just follow this formula. So yeah, that's the ternary operator. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's the ternary operator in C.